Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today in this tutorial we'll talk about tokens. A token is the smallest individual unit in a program. For example, here in this program, A is a token, equals to operator it is a token, 10 is a token, B is a token, equals to operator is a token, 5 is a token, result is a token, this operator is a token, a is a token, plus is a token, b is a token, print is a token, open parenthesis is a token, this is a token, this comma is a token, result is a token and closed parenthesis is a token. All statements and instructions in a program are built with tokens. Program is a set of instructions that computer follows in order to perform or complete a particular task, right? And you can write a statement, you can build a statements and instructions using tokens and you can create token using character set. We can define token in another way also that is one or more character grouped in sequence to form meaningful words and these words are called tokens. Okay. And next let's see how many types of tokens are available in Python programming language. Identifiers, keywords, operators, literals, punctuators, these are all tokens. Just for an example, here we have a equal to 10. a is a token, equals to operator is a token, 10 is a token. But a is a name, that's why it comes under the identifiers. This is an operator, 10 is a constant, so it comes under the literals. Okay. We can divide tokens in this way, identifiers, keywords, operators, literals, punctuators. So we'll discuss these tokens in detail one by one. First, let's talk about identifiers. A Python identifier is a name given to various entities like variables, functions, class, modules, etc. We'll use different entities in our program. Identifiers are used to uniquely identify different entities within the program. Here in this example, A is an identifier, B is an identifier, result is an identifier. All the names in our programs are identifiers. Identifiers are user defined names. User will give a name to variable, function, class, module, etc. But here in this example, print is a built in function. And here print is the function name, built in function name, which has a special meaning, okay, predefined meaning. But you can overwrite it, that is, you can use it as a variable name. But that is a bad habit, don't overwrite the built in functions. So these types of name can be called as built in identifiers. As I said, variable name is an identifier. When we name a variable, we must follow few rules, right? Not only for variables, we must follow those rules for all the identifiers. Whenever you name a function, class, module or a variable, you must follow those rules. So once again, let's learn about identifier construction rules. So the first rule is a valid identifiers can have letters, both uppercase and lowercase letter, digits and underscores. So you can't use any space or other special characters in your variable names, function name or class name. And the second rule is the first letter of an identifier should be either a letter or an underscore. As we discussed previously, variable name must start with letter or an underscore. It applies for all other identifiers. So identifier must start with a letter or an underscore character. Okay. So here we can see valid and invalid identifiers examples. And the third rule is you can't use keywords as identifiers. So we'll discuss about keywords in the next part. Keywords are the reserved words. So you can't use keywords as identifiers, right? So this is about identifiers and its construction rules. So next let's talk about keywords. The second token keywords. Okay, keywords are the reserved words. Keywords are predefined and reserved words that have special meaning in a language. 
सो दे कैंट बी यूज एज अ वेरिएबल नेम फंक्शन नेम और एनी अदर रैंडम पर्पज की वर्ड्स आर दी रिजर्व वर्ड्स विच हैव स्पेशल मीनिंग ओके प्री डिफाइंड मीनिंग सो यू कैंट यूज इट फॉर अदर पर्पज इफ यू ट्राई टू यूज अ की वर्ड एज अ वेरिएबल नेम इफ यू ट्राई टू एजाइन अ वैल्यू टू इट यू विल गेट एर ओके फॉर एग्जाम्पल फॉर इफ ब्रेक दीज आर ऑल की वर्ड्स नेक्स्ट लेट सी हाउ मेनी की वर्ड्स आर देयर इन पाइथन सो इन दि शेल विंडो जस्ट टाइप हेल्प एंड की वर्ड्स एंड एंटर हियर वी कैन सी लिस्ट ऑफ पाइथन की वर्ड्स सो द नंबर ऑफ की वर्ड्स इन पाइथन डिपेंड्स ऑन द पाइथन वर्शन यू आर यूजिंग and here you can see false none true and as as it these are all the keywords all right next if you want to check whether a word is a keyword or not you can use is keyword function first we need to import keywords for that then you can use like this you will get output as true or false all right so next keywords are case sensitive just remember this so this break and break is different okay this is a keyword but this is not a keyword and also python keywords are the reserved words so you can't use it as variable name function name or class name or module name okay be careful about these two points about keywords so that's it for now in this tutorial we talked about identifiers and keywords in the next tutorial we'll talk about operators Thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel i will meet you next class till then take care